They say hipsters make the best spies, but what makes a good spy? Take this martini for example. Three measures of Gordon, one vodka, one quina lile. Shake it, never stirred, until it's ice cold. <sighs> That's damn good. Great spies have guts. Like when your enemy has you strapped to a chair and is clubbing your balls. Always remember to have a cheeky comeback. Always say your last name first, repeated by your entire name. For example, Hutchinson. Chaz Hutchinson. Yes. Money Penny, I shit you not. Well, it's because they know what I can do with my little finger. Understood. That was command. We have to go. Now a spy should always have great style. The suit should be bespoke, razor sharp, like your wit. I do 850 crunches a day. Boom! Parkour is the new thing in the industry. You must blend in. Not what you expected, right? Now a spy must be technically savvy. This, my friend, is a gypis. It's gotten me quite a few women in my day. Now it's also very important to master the dramatic monologue. For example, <laughs> this message was transmitted to me one night by a pine tree on a cold winter's eve. It said nothing really exists, so don't worry. It's all like a dream. Everything is ecstasy inside. Listen to the silence in the illusion of the world, and you will remember the lesson that you forgot. You were never really born, and you will never really die. The world tells us nothing. It tells us nothing about the imaginary idea of a personal self. But then again, self is only an idea, a mortal idea. Everything I do, everything I do is for God and this great country on which I walk. <laughs> you like that, Ted? My mom gave me that. It doesn't make any fucking sense, but I tell it to the Russians because they have no bloody idea what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs>